Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Uh, today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of online vehicle uh, rental um, system in ASP.NET Core. So in this video tutorial, first to migrate your project uh, after uh, creating your models and the data, uh, data context and a connection string and register your connection string. After that you can migrate your project. Now you can use uh, add migration and the name of the migration that is already applied uh, migration that is in it for the initialization and the first <coughs> is the newly uh, uh, migration and after that migration you can add update database command in the package manager console so uh, the next step to do uh, in the project that is uh, create a new folder that is name of folder is areas and in which you can add a new area looking like the customer uh, because admin area is already created uh, for the testing purpose uh, so I already create it and uh, okay now uh, to remove the admin area and the customer area when you uh, when you uh, add a new area in your uh, project then you have to find uh, model views controller uh, folder already okay so uh, i created already uh, some uh, controllers and uh, you can see that uh, customers have some uh, folders like uh, controller views and etc so delete all these things now add a new admin uh, area in the areas folder now after that uh, you have to add uh, controllers in the admin section or you can say controller folder inside the admin folder or now select views with the models controller so the first thing you can add the location and the model class is the location class <coughs> so scaffolding is successful after uh, yeah that is now save this now after that you can add the another uh, also you have to check uh, the view section of your location now after that uh, to add uh, another uh, controller for your manufacturer now edit button you notice that uh, writing the code uh, for your uh, project is minimum so that thing is good uh, by using the scaffolding you can say so the third uh, model uh, you can select like a model okay in the project uh, I mean to say that a model of the car you can say <coughs> which model of the vehicle so there is now after that you can add the next thing uh, next controller for your vehicle I think it's not vehicle it's a rental so add it so similarly uh, you can add controller for all these models class now because uh, there is no uh, connection between the many to many if you have uh, a many to many relationship so you can also add this uh, controller into your system if you want to learn better programming and the better paradigm uh, so you can add view models particular con uh, based on the controller based on the models also so these are status controller now add a new controller uh, for the vehicle now you have to see scaffolding is a good thing uh, provided by Microsoft to make task easier and quicker okay so the vehicle is already there vehicle type <coughs> okay and uh, now the next 
you have to check your views vehicle type now the next uh, model is after the vehicle type that is the vehicle type is the last thing you can add into your project now after that you can add identity that is already added uh, in in the areas folder but uh, you have to add how to add identity in your areas folder that is already added by me but uh, I teach you how to uh, add identity into your system so just right click on your areas add a new scaffold items new scaffold items and add identity add it when we click on the add button you got some uh, this uh, override all files select override all files but uh, because you need all so just click on add button I uh, click on cancel button but you click on add button now after that you got uh, some um, files in the account folder where you can find identity uh, single page you can say uh, single page model identity is based on the single page model so after that you can register your identity into your uh, startup.register for uh, startup.cs file add default identity add identity framework store in which you can add application user as well as application db context <coughs> okay now you you can also add razor pages syntax in uh, in your startup.cs file services dot add razor pages okay now close it now in the location you uh, you got uh, location is not dependent in any other model uh, because location have multiple vehicles so location is not dependent to any other model so just right click on it and uh, save your project and add some locations into your projects you go uh, you have to uh, layouts folder in which you can add uh, these uh, model by using the li items like location manufacturer model rental status vehicle and vehicle types when we when you uh, click on your project also uh, add the endpoints uh, in your uh, startup.cs file endpoint dot map area controller route name is area and area name is admin and pattern is admin controller name that is this this is but the default is also there so this is the default uh, routing when we click on the locations oops you got uh, uh, because your tag helper is not working into your system so just add your tag helper files in your admin uh, in your areas also so just right click on it uh, view imports.cshtml file copy that file and paste inside the area okay so just right click on it and paste inside also uh, you have to inside in the admin area when we, when you click on it in the admin area <coughs> but you got uh, these things uh, only applied in the admin section but you you want to apply that all things in the that section so just uh, drag and um, drop that file in your area section instead of admin okay just removed it and you got your view imports is inside your area section not in the admin section areas have a view imports file also uh, you set the layouts uh, that is the view start.cshtml file so just copy that file and paste inside the area section so inside the area you have two files view imports.cshtml files as well as the view start.cshtml files when you run your project and uh, got uh, the proper layout of the projects so uh, thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other remaining videos which is related to uh, vehicle rental system thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget please subscribe my channel if you like this video and uh, share this video also thank you very much